day one of the meeting between the teacher unions and the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Labor, and as well as the GES uh, has come to an end, but they did not reach a decision. They are to return to the table tomorrow for the final uh, finality of the matter to be determined. In fact, when we spoke with them, they indicated that they belong to some other associations, and so they had to reach out to them. It's not all of them that they have gotten in touch with, and so they want to do that. That is from the teacher union. They want to do that, and then return to the table, and they are confident that by tomorrow, 2 p.m. when they meet, uh, a closure will be brought on this matter. And we've been speaking with the president of NAT, Isaac Owusu. The agreement here is that the two parties have agreed that we should adjourn and resume tomorrow 2 p.m. What, what are some of the considerations? That please, we shall conclude tomorrow exactly 2 p.m. So be rest assured. No, we do not want to apportion any blame to anybody. Whether the, 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 the government side have failed or the unions have failed, nobody has failed. Are you getting signals that he'll be removed? Right Certainly right? tomorrow when we meet. Mr. President, you're Certainly, not please question. listen to me. Certainly tomorrow when we meet, the outcome will be before you. Thank so you very much. Continues? I said we have adjourned to this meeting. But we have adjourned. We have adjourned to this meeting. You see, so until the, the teachers hear from the leadership of the union, till now we have adjourned the meeting. So until tomorrow they hear from the leadership of the union, what I can say is that the teachers should remain calm and, and continue to stay is at home. Only the removal of the DG that is on the table or that. I can I can I cannot have. let the cut out of the bag, please. I said we are. We couldn't Just conclude tomorrow. To Certainly tomorrow, all the details will be put before you. Now, on, on, on behalf of the Ministry of Education, the Labor Relations, they had a spokesperson in the person of the Deputy Minister of Employment and Labor Relations, um, Rekubro Bay, and he's been explaining that, well, the meeting was somewhat successful, except that the teacher unions had to um, tell them that they had to do further consultations in order to return to the table. So they are confident that by tomorrow, uh, they will reach an amicable resolution of this matter and they put everything behind them. The second time you have failed to call the teachers to go back to work. You see, when you say failed, uh, it's, 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 it's a very strong word. We have not failed. If there are issues that you are discussing and you say failed, you're already preempting the outcome of it. We have not. We've, in fact, had another constructive meeting, uh, which for me, uh, tomorrow, God willing, you know, we have to do further consultations. They, on the other hand, says that, yes, uh, they have other stakeholders beyond those who came here. So tomorrow, God willing, uh, we will bring this matter to a very successful end. Now, was this first half of the meeting successful, according to you? Uh, for me, it's, it's, I mean, we all came thinking that we could resolve it today. To that extent, uh, I would have wished that this thing was dealt with and we are fine, but it didn't happen like that. We have to allow, because it takes two to tango. And we can't be that entrenched and say we are keeping them. So once they have promised and given us tomorrow, God willing, let's all be optimistic and let Ghanaians know that this matter will be resolved. What reason did they give you for coming back tomorrow? And further then, consultations. Further consultations. Prime Minister, do you have the signal that the unions are backing down their decision, calling for the removal of the director general? Oh, I am very optimistic that tomorrow, God willing, we will rest this matter. That he will be removed or he will still be at position, post? We are talking about a matter which outcome will be determined.